Hey everybody, I am Jay LaBeouf from Descript. Welcome to the stream. And by the end of today, we're gonna show you how to move content from four of our partners to editing in Descript with as simple as one button. Now it takes more than one tool to tell your story. You're joining us today because you're content creators. Your job is to help inform and educate other people. And your job is not to shuffle around massive files between the apps that you use because you use apps for remote recording. You use apps for live streaming like this. You use apps for hosting content. But throughout that, in the way of your storytelling is moving massive files between those apps, downloading those recordings from one tool only to then re-upload them to Descript for transcription and auto magic editing, and then exporting these massive files to your favorite content host. All that downloading, importing, dragging stuff around is just painful. And that's the type of pain that we at Descript are trying to always find a way to solve. And our partners are our partner, our partners are too. So what am I talking about? Well, last week I actually told a few of our users about some new integrations that we had coming up. Let's hear what they had to say about these new integrations. That's amazing. Um, wow. Say what now? I love this. I love this. This is huge. This is going to make the workflow so much better for so many people. This is a massive integration and it's going to be so helpful for us and our producers. Anything that will shorten the distance between the story and the storyteller. Awesome. Such a sweet integration. Look at what happens when people come together. Great things. How much time do you think that would save you? <laughs> I think it would save me a lot. So. I feel like I spend, we spend, our producers spend like a week just downloading files from one place. They spend so much time just waiting for downloads. There's always a lag between when we record and when we get stuff transcribed. One of the biggest time sucks is downloading files and then re-uploading files and then your computer fan just starts going crazy and you think your computer's gonna explode. In talk, we are editing for speed and clarity. It's a quick turnaround. It's like something that takes 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but in the scheme of the way that we all work now, <laughs> we're being pushed to do more and more. It's like. 30 seconds can be huge. This would just be so much nicer. That's gonna be a huge time saver. I mean, that would be a huge time saver. This is gonna save us so much freaking time. I love it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for helping us streamline. I love this freaking tool. And just the script, y'all just keep leveling up. This is incredible. Thank you, this is huge. All right, so that's just a teaser of what we're gonna learn about in the next 50 minutes or so from all of our partners. And we wanna make this as interactive as possible. So if you're joining on the platform, there's a chat tab. So do me a favor, uh, say something nice, tell us where you're from in the chat tab. Also, we have representatives from Descript, Restream, Captivate, Riverside, and Squadcast all on here. So if you are a representative of one of those companies, please drop something in the chat, introduce yourself so people know who you are and that you're just not some crazy person trying to pretend like you know everything about your company, that you actually work there. Uh, last thing I actually do wanna know in the chat, is it freaking or fricking? I don't know which one I like better, so I open this up to the community, let me know what you think, and then we will adopt that in future videos. Okay, one more thing that I'm being reminded of on my own internal chat is there's a Q&A tab. So if you're joining us on the Crowdcast platform, click on the Q&A tab and you can ask a dedicated question and a support representative from the Descript side will use that to not only answer it, but in the Q&A section at the very end of this live stream, we're gonna promote those to the screen just like you, just like you see here. We're gonna promote your question to the screen, answer it live. So. Whew, I'm excited, got to calm down, a lot of energy. That video pumped me up, this integration pumps me up. It has come to my attention that some of you might not actually know what Descript is. So if you're new to Descript, let me give you the 90 second introduction. So Descript is an app that allows you to edit, 
audio and video as easily as editing text. First, you just drag in a file. And a transcript is near instantly created, which allows you to edit your text. Let's give this a try. Descript is an all-in-one, uh, let me try it again. And we allow you to remove the things you didn't want to say, and also remove your filler words. Podcasting, screen recording, and audio and video editing. Now, you can apply studio sound to remove that background noise and also enhance screen your speech. Screen recording and audio and video editing. And you can also add captions. Descript is an all-in-one tool for transcription, podcasting, screen recording, and audio and video editing. And when you're done, blazingly fast, export it to your favorite content host. So today, I'm going to introduce you to four of the top tools used for recording, live streaming, and content hosting. And I'm going to start with our partners at Riverside. Descript's Riverside integration allows you to record your video and audio with your guests and then send it over to Descript with one click. First off, let's hear from Matt, let's hear from Matt Hill at Rethink Audio to hear more. Hi, my name is Matt Hill. I run a production company here in the UK called Rethink Audio. Um, among the many uh, big projects that we do here, uh, we are responsible for Happy Place and the High Performance Podcast. Um, and we also have a daily podcast called uh, The Retrospectors, which is curious moments from this day in history. Now, we started using Riverside for most of our recordings during the pandemic as we were trying to record more things remotely, as you, as we all did. And um, we found that uh, Riverside was brilliant for um, not just HD audio and video recordings, um, but it was great for guests because it was easy for them to join the studio. They didn't have to think about rec hitting record or uh, worrying about the state of their recording. And in the very unlikely event that they left too early or they have a very dodgy internet connection and didn't work very well, so Riverside has become very much the staple at Rethink Audio for um, remote recording. Now, Descript, I happened upon maybe six to nine months after we started using Riverside. And what I loved about Descript was the fact that you could collaborate. So um, we've been used to taking the process of recording uh, and editing audio in this kind of mystical you know, um, process that only audio producers understood. It didn't feel like a collaboration. What I like about Descript is that you're collaborating in the same system as you're editing. So by the end, you have made a show together, which is really revolutionary, I think. What I'm really excited about with this collaboration between Riverside and Descript is the possibilities for video production. You know, we're an audio first company. I don't like to think about video until the the podcast audio version is made because that's the thing that we uh, base our entire business model on. But we totally recognize that video is the future and it is great for social media and great for building platforms on YouTube and TikTok. So in doing this collaboration, it means that we can take those brilliant video stems from Riverside have them imported straight into uh, Descript uh, without having to download them beforehand. And crucially, we can add them in at a time, which means we've already done the audio edit, the video comes in in the same sequence and it, it aligns with all the edits we've already done. So all we're looking to do at that point is then change the multicam uh, setting to which camera we want to go to next for each edit point. So it takes the process of creating a video podcast based on your audio edit from a, a process like an archaeologist would like having to work out what the audio producer does we can work with the video producer and it will take them maybe half a day to do a podcast as opposed to maybe you know sort of a day and a half two days so it's really efficient um, this collaboration makes it uh, even more efficient and it means that for a show like our daily show I'm looking to see um I reckon we'll be producing video versions of that podcast at the same time as the audio ones on um, on a very simple stripped back production team, you know, within a couple of months. Thanks, Matt. I'd like to bring on Nadav, the CEO of Riverside, to tell you more about Riverside. Nadav, yeah, it's all yours. Thank you, Jay. And thank you, Matt, for those kind words. 
What's up, everyone? I'm Nadav Kison, the CEO of Riverside.fm. We call ourselves online recording studio. And uh, I started Riverside together with my brother around two years ago. Uh, we were the first in the world to record locally video in the browser. And what does local recording mean? That's basically the reason why we exist. The, the good thing about Riverside is, let me share my screen for a second. Is that when... Um, when I, and now I'm, this is how, how Riverside looks. This is how what we call the studio. When I'm in Riverside and I click on record, what we do is we're locally recording video and audio in the browser on your computer. So basically what that means is that whatever, whatever your camera and mic can record is what the output is gonna be. So, and um, the files don't depend on your internet connection. And the good thing is that you get a separate track for each participant. So imagine I will be here in the studio with uh, two others. I get a separate track for every, every guest in this, uh, in this studio. And uh, we record up to 4K video in the browser. So basically, uh, if your camera can record 4K, you will get basically whatever your camera can record. And the same goes for your mic. So I'm right now using this fancy Shure mic. Uh, and whatever your mic can record is also what the output is going to be. And we have really, our focus has really been to make that super, super simple. So almost as simple or, or even more simple than Google Meet. Uh, that's how we, how we look at it. And, um, and so guests don't need to install anything. They just come in on board and, and the host can click record. What's cool about Riverside is now that uh, with this integration is that people can also upload their, their local recordings directly to Descript. And uh, within a button, they can start editing with those files in Descript. What's also cool about Riverside is that we have, uh, we have an iPhone app. So you can basically use your amazing camera on your phone uh, to record audio and video with. We have an Android app as well. And um, yeah, I think like I, I'm speaking very fast, but ultimately we've made it so, so simple to record high quality audio and video uh, uh, remotely. And now with this integration, you can also uh, start editing in Descript with those files. I suggest you, highly suggest you to, um, to check out our freemium. We have a free plan. You can uh, uh, start recording unlimited. So I really encourage you to check out our freemium. Uh, the biggest podcasters in the world use Riverside, Disney, Marvel, New York Times, Tim Ferriss is using, recording all of his new podcasts on Riverside, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, Mark Zuckerberg. So really the big names, but also the smaller individuals because we don't want to, uh, we want to build a platform for everyone. So not only for the pros, but also really to make it easy for the, the beginners and people that are just starting to work out. And ultimately, how we see Riverside is that Riverside should really be this place where people come to record and create content without uh, having any hard skills uh, of technology, but still having an output as if you're using a million dollar studio. And uh, I'm super, super excited with this, about this integration and can't wait to see what content all of you will be creating uh, with um, Riverside and Descript. Thank you, Nadav. And it's been a pleasure working with you and the team. Okay, and we, oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Pleasure working with you and the team. And uh, the integration will be live momentarily, coming, coming very, very soon. We'll let everybody know. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. And if Thank you, everybody. So we're, we're also, as we're going along, you're going to see some bottom thirds where we're going to describe some calls to action where you can go to learn more. And then also we're dropping them in the chat. So uh, part of this should be you're learning about tools that you didn't know you needed. Um, so imagine you had one stream. In that one stream, you could record and live stream to 30 plus destinations and reach your audience wherever they are. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Restream. And introducing Restream is Shelly Nathan. Hi, everyone. My name is Shelly, and I have a YouTube channel called Shelly Saves the Day. I've been using Restream for about three years now so that I can multicast all of my live streams to multiple destinations, including Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Twitch. And I love that on Facebook as well, I can do two Facebook profiles and pages into groups. So I can do multiple, which is really great. And anytime I've had to do an interview when it's up to 10 people, it's so great to be able to give them a link to Restream to come in and have that many people on screen at the same time, which is been awesome. I also love that I can do the pairs so that I can help increase the exposure to other people's live streams as well. I 
love that feature. Now, Descript came into my life about seven months ago, and I had to dive into the overdub features because I think they're so cool, but I used it in a couple of different ways. One, I was able to complete captions on really long videos that I had previously for an e-course that I had been creating about editing, and it handled it like a champ, and I was able to export the SRT file so quickly, it made it so, so simple to do that. But now I use it in conjunction with my Restream video because I record all of the live streams that I do and I'm able to then parse out things after I import the file and see it all in the document. I can pull out audiograms and create them and put them on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or on Pinterest and Instagram Reels. So I've been able to repurpose a lot of my live streams. I even went in and did some editing so that I could pull out snippets from the question and answer periods to make separate videos. So it's been super duper fun using those two combined because once I can read it and find the part that I'm looking for, then it's really easy to export it as well. So those two combined have been a real game changer in time savings for me. And I would highly encourage you, if you're looking at it, to kind of look into some of what you can do with it because I think you're gonna be super impressed. I know. Thank you, Shelly. And Shelly's on the chat. Make sure to say hi and check out Shelly's YouTube. Oh, let me also bring on Anya from Restream. Anya, thanks for joining us. Hi there, it's great to be here. Hello, hello everybody. All right, so it's been it's been such an interesting experience. It's so great to see all these integrated partners uh, come together and share and share what they're working on. So like I said, I'm Anya. Uh, if you haven't met me yet, I'm Director of Product Marketing at Restream. And I have one simple mission. I want to help you connect through live video. And this integration is basically all about connecting. So Restream is, the number one live streaming platform that helps you create and publish professional live videos, even if you have zero video production experience. We make it very easy for you to leverage the power of lives. So we, are also happen we also happen to be inventors of multi-streaming. So our company started in a small town in Ukraine with a big dream that video can help people to connect skilled people with curious people through social media platforms. And this is how we started, and this is where we are today. As Jay mentioned, 30 plus social media platforms that you can stream on, including multiple channels within the same platform, uh, and include your audience into the conversation. So for those of you who are not very familiar with live streaming, who don't do that on a regular basis, just imagine going live. It's real, authentic. You can't edit it. You just, you just go, and it's just you, right? There's a little bit of fear and anxiety you're probably scared of technical hell a little bit, but ultimately you experience the joy of seeing those first comments and here you are, your viewers are included in your conversation. Now imagine that you can download that video, a beautiful interactive experience with your community and edit the heck out of it because this script makes it very easy and uh, it does an amazing job uh, creating perfect videos out of your live streams, authentic uh, experiences. So the next question is, what are you going to do with an edited video? Well, you can just publish it. You can upload it to YouTube. You can send an email with it. And there are probably another thousand ways how you can repurpose your edited content. But you can also push it to go live again. Yes, that's right. You can have your edited perfect video and make it appear as live on social media platforms. And then it's up to you whether you want to jump in the chat and talk to those people again and repeat the cycle of interactive experience or just let it play live and go have yourself a margarita. So this is how everything is connected. And this is where Restream and Descript make it very easy to go through this whole cycle of creating a live video, connecting with everybody on all those social platforms where you worked so hard to build your communities, then add it and then push it live again. And I'm happy to answer any questions and um, anything you guys want to know about live streaming and uh, live video and connecting. Awesome. Thank you, Anya. And we're dropping a good call to action for everybody here. You know, myself, I am more of the edit the heck out of it uh, type person for my live streams. And the other approach that I do for podcasts and for podcasters, we know you're using Descript, but do you know about Captivate? Do you know how you can repurpose and make edits to your existing catalog? Like, let's say you've been podcasting 
for like a bazillion years, like Evo Terra, who's joining us on the chat today. Evo, I see you. I see you there. You have all these shows. So how can you actually edit and repurpose them? Well, to get started, let me introduce you to the syndicated radio show host and co-host of the Ultimate Home Improvement Podcast, Eric Gorenson. Hi, my name is Eric Gorenson, and I host my podcast Around the House with Eric G and Caroline B and the Around the House Pro Insider on Captivate. You know, I love it because we get to help homeowners and people that are about to be homeowners understand their home so they can make better decisions on repairs that are DIY projects or even hiring a professional. With over a thousand recorded podcasts in our back catalog and about 850 published currently on Captivate, we've got a very large back catalog to manage. In total, we produce about three to four podcasts a week for both shows. I also use Descript to edit my podcasts. Currently, once I publish an episode, I can't make changes to it without it becoming a new episode. I also can improve my transcript accuracy as I end up having to start my process entirely over. To complicate things even further, you know, my show also edits into a nationally syndicated radio show here in the U.S., so we have a longer process than most to get the final product out to the network and upload into Captivate. There's also times that a guest will listen back to an episode as it airs and realize they spoke about a new product early that was not yet released, and we need to go back and edit that moment out on the fly. That error on their part can create a ton of work to edit and repost back up. It can also create errors. It can be easy to repost the wrong edit back up again or the wrong transcript when you have multiple edits saved. Don't we all hate it when that happens? It seems that the more you're rushed, the higher the chance of operator errors occurring. That is why I'm so excited that this integration is coming. It will totally transform my workflow because this should save us a significant time each week in our editing process. With any podcaster, time is money. And anything that can be done to streamline workflow and eliminate duplicate processes gives you more time to focus on the next show or even better, promoting the one you just released. It will also eliminate that chance of errors when we had to upload or re-upload new edited episodes that contained unexpected content errors from our guests. Anytime multiple tools are integrated in our editing system, it makes our production work more efficient and easier to operate. That's something we love to celebrate. And now I'm honored to introduce Sarah McDowell from Captivate to tell you about this new integration. Hey, Sarah, thanks for joining us. Hello. Hello, everyone. Great to be here. Uh, thanks to Descript and everyone joining this session. Um, as Eric said, I am Sarah from Captivate, the exclusive podcast hosting partner for this event and new feature rollout. What makes us different from other hosts is that we are focused on the growth and success of your podcast. Being a podcaster myself, I am very excited about this new feature I'm about to show you. Once live, you will be able to seamlessly edit live episodes with one click from within Captivate's dashboard, making it easier to fix mistakes, make updates, keep accurate transcripts, and still not lose any of those vital podcast stats and download numbers. It will really simplify those podcasting workflows. Um, let's see this new feature in action then. So, uh, as you can see, we are in Captivate dashboard. Uh, Sarah's podcasting tips, I'm very sorry to say, doesn't exist. It's fictitious, as this is a demo. Um, and we are within episodes under content management. So let's say we want to edit that live trailer. It's published. So we go into it. And within that platform, we've got the edit in the script button there. So we click that button and we are seamlessly taken into the script. So no need to open up tabs, go to Descript anywhere else. You can do it from within Captivate. So we let Capt um, Descript do its thing. And then it pulls in that audio. Um, we then need to give the project a title. Um, so we're going to go with SPT, Sarah's uh, podcasting tips, might start this podcast, who knows, uh, trailer. And then what we need to do is transcribe that 
bio. Um, so there we go. Um, next up is we just need to enter a speaker name so we can edit. Uh, so obviously it's myself. So I'm going to put Sarah in there. And there we and now it's doing its thing. It's transcribing. Normally it doesn't take that long. And then there we go. So the trailer is in there. So the it has been converted into a transcript. So now we've got to tidy it up. And there we go, within magic, I have edited and cleaned up my text and audio. So you just wanna make sure that everything sounds okay. I'm thinking it sounds all right. Um, so there, what we wanna do is do those further edits. So there you'll see um, that we say every Tuesday, maybe episodes aren't every Tuesday, maybe they're every Thursday, every Friday. We can use Descript's overdub feature and not even have to re-record. Re we can use our keyboard if we have that enabled and just type in that change. Um, so that's option number one. Option number two is we can completely cut out sections altogether. So as you can see there, we talk about shout outs and merch, such as stickers. Maybe we don't do stickers anymore. We wanna get rid of that. So we just wanna highlight that, that section there and then we want to get rid of it, so we do. Um, and then we just want to double check that everything works fine and we can hear. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. Um, everything sounded amazing to me. Uh, so now we want to get that back into Captivate. So what we want to do is go on over to Share at the top right there and Export, and then we can get that back into Captivate and, Click publish and just wait a few minutes. Let this, and we're back within Captivate. Um, so we've edited that audio really seamlessly. We're back within the episode. Um, wonderful. So the transcripts in there, all we need to do is update that episode. Um, hope you agree that this will be a pretty blooming amazing feature. So seamless. I can think of many ways this will be helpful for my own podcasts. Those who have Captivate, you don't need to do anything. Once the feature is live, uh, so it's not live at the moment, but it will be soon. Um, it will be available in your dashboard and we will notify you via email. However, if you are new to Captivate, why not sign up for a free trial? If you use the promo code Descript, all in uppercase, you get an extended trial, and that is 14 days instead of seven. That's me done. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to hearing your questions later on. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. And we're thrilled to have Captivate as the exclusive podcast host of this round trip integration where you can take existing catalog edit it in Descript and republish it back round trip. Pretty cool. Um, okay, wow. I mean, this has already been so good. It can't possibly get any better. Wait, let me ask Pat Flynn to talk about Squadcast for a second. What's up? It's Pat Flynn here, host of the Smart Passive Income and Ask Pat podcast. Speaking of podcasts, you know, I've been using Squadcast for years now, for recording remote interviews and now they got video along with it. It's just a beautiful solution. And I've fallen in love so much with the company that I'm actually an advisor for the company now, which is super cool. Speaking of super cool, I also use Descript for a lot of things, for recording audio, for recording video in my desktop. And also I've been playing around a lot with the overdub feature there as well. And now these two companies are gonna be integrated with each other. It's just such a cool thing. Any company that wants to help me with my workflow, just bless you. Thank you so much because my time is valuable and I know your time is too. So now with Squadcast, you can record your remote interview and literally with the click of a button, you're able to then sort of import that recording into Descript so you can start working with it and, and, and editing your show and whatever you want to do with it. So, wow, just incredible. It's absolutely mind blowing. And I hope you see that because once you start using it, you're going to see that you're going to shave minutes, if not hours of time uh, every single week with your workflow. So uh, congrats to Squadcast and Descript and that integration is awesome. And I hope you have an awesome day and thanks for being awesome. Peace. Awesome. That's awesome. Pat's awesome. You know who else is awesome? 
Zach Moreno, CEO of Squadcast is awesome. Zach, good to see you. Hey, Jay. Thanks so much. Appreciate all of the amazing work and partnership that's gone into this event. It's an amazing amount of work, years in the making. So we're really proud to be here today and uh, got some cool stuff we can show you. I have a bit of a slide deck as well as some previews of uh, other things that we're working on. So let me pull that up. There we are. Okay. We're talking about integration and collaboration today. Our mission at Squadcast is to amplify collaboration. And we do that in lots of ways, like integrations, like we are here to celebrate today. And what we do at Squadcast, we are an innovative cloud recording studio that creators love. And we're proud to serve some of the creators that you see on the screen here, like, uh, like Pat and, uh, and others like uh, Google and amazing companies that we're proud to collaborate with. We've been doing this for close to six years now, and uh, that time has led to lots of innovations that we're proud to have contributed to the category that we are defining, the cloud recording studio, like uh, our progressive upload or drift normalization technologies that make Squadcast really unique. So unique, in fact, that these are patented technologies. So we're very proud of that contribution, um, similar, you know, to, uh, similar to our mission, you know, in service of our mission, I should say, to amplify collaboration. We bring that to life with our technology. And a lot has been said today about workflows and how shaving even 30 seconds off of the creator's time to get these episodes out to the audiences that we are growing. This adds up when you're recording, you know, 50 files, uh, many takes, lots of content that we are producing together. But uh, we'll get into workflow here in a second. But also, I would add that reliability and speed are also critical to the creator workflow uh, as we continue to professionalize as podcasters, YouTubers, content creators. All right. So what are some of the reasons that creators love Squadcast? Emphasis on the word rapid here, Squadcast. Uh, because of our technology, progressive upload that I mentioned, premium recordings, you get the recordings as soon as you click stop. There's no waiting around. People can bounce. There's no like, hey, hang out here and keep this tab open. That's something that's very unique to Squadcast. And it, uh, again, shaving time off of your workflow so you can get that content. Um, because we record locally um, and have backups in addition to that running in the cloud, you don't need to worry about connectivity or even worst case scenario like the power going out. Because it is, uh, these are local recordings, they are going to be of the highest quality, and that's going to help you uh, really earn the trust um, and, and growth that comes with, uh, with our relationship from our audiences. Uh, a lot has been said about the intimacy of podcasting, but if the quality is not there, uh, the intimacy is going to uh, gonna be a little bit less, and it's going to serve as a distraction. So we want to help uphold that. And uh, yeah, post-production uh, simplified, as we're going to see here in a second. And uh, I mentioned the backups already. So there's a lot more. Check out squadcast.fm for more on that. And this is a preview of what it's like to uh, edit in Descript. Once you've recorded on Squadcast, you can select those recordings and, um, and then click the button that sends them over to Descript. So you can work with them in all of the ways like uh, that we're fans of the Descript platform for. A lot of love and energy goes into their technology, as does ours. And that's where uh, this collaboration is really meaningful for, for us and the creators that we are proud to serve. So uh, as I said, this is a preview of the edit and descript feature. But this is also a preview of Squadcast, the next version of Squadcast, the new Squadcast studio and backstage. If you're a customer, uh, a Squadcaster in the chat, let us know. Thank you. We are honored to serve you. And uh, thought we'd add in this little preview here for you to check out today. Squadcast looks nothing like this. This is a, this is a complete redesign and reimagining of what the experience of a cloud recording studio can be um, with all of the lessons we've learned and feedback from the amazing community that we serve. So a bit more about the future here for the new Squadcast studio and backstage. Uh, we are simplifying our pricing. We are adding search, the workflow drawer that you just saw. Uh, that's where we save time from not needing to download these massive high quality files and then re-import them or upload them or whatever's next in the process. You can send them to like 
uh, Dropbox, for example, or other destinations, right? Like Descript is what we are doing here today. It's a little more useful than just uh, a file, file storage, I will say. And, uh, and backstage access, this is something that we're really, really stoked about. Uh, growing your show into multiple shows and network and inviting your team. I mentioned our mission to amplify collaboration. Uh, now you can do that with your team. And uh, Squad Shots is something that if you haven't checked out on, uh, on our social media, check out hashtag Squad Shots and you'll see all of the amazing smiling faces of the creators and their guests that we serve. So you can see a bit of this in, in the design here. There's the search at the top. Up. There's the workflow drawer that's opening. And then this is our new dashboard with the shows navigation on the left. So this is just uh, a tiny little preview of, of the new Squadcast with the edit in Descript feature that'll be launching at the same time. And um, you can find out more about that at squadcast.fm slash Descript. We will be hosting our launch event for this new release very soon. And there is uh, like promo codes and information about the integration here with Descript, as well as some other teasers for what's coming in the new Squadcast studio with Backstage. And thank you again for everybody who's joining us here today in the chat, our partners for this release, and of course, the team at Descript. Thank you all. There I am. Thank you, Zach. Really appreciate it. We've just covered four top creative tools, top creative projects, products, all of those things all wrapped up that can be used for recording, live streaming, and content hosting, and some powerful ways to bring that into Descript with the new Edit and Descript button. Now, is that live? It actually may be. We're doing this event live. Um, I quite literally don't know if it has launched yet. Um, so what we're going to do is probably roll these out over the next couple of hours and definitely next couple of days. So stay tuned. We'll let you know when it is live in your product of choice. And uh, our goal is to let you know that the drudgery of taking files, huge files, lugging them from point A to point B is hopefully over. And hopefully you've discovered some cool tools along the way. Let's go into our Q&A segment where uh, a reminder to everybody, if you can drop your questions in the Q&A tab. We will promote them to the bottom of the screen and we will answer them live without a net. To help me with this, I'd like to welcome my colleague and host of Descript's Descript Tips, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hi, greetings. So nice to be here. I'm going to be emceeing the Q&A segment of our live stream today. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. I have to remember because I was just clicking all these buttons and now my brain is blanking out on me. However, um, I am going to be reading the questions and bringing guests on as the questions apply to them. Jay will also be on hand to answer any Descript specific things that uh, we have for all of you today. And I'm looking at my camera. It's slightly above my eye level. All right. So let's see here. Let's get started. Um, Harmony, whenever you're ready, we can start bringing questions on and I will say them out loud for all of our lovely viewers. One moment, I'm vamping, I'm vamping. Bear with us, all right, okay. Continuing to vamp, uh, how are first, doing? first question, I always get this, Laura. Mm -hmm. Is this event being recorded? Yes, it is. Why? I'm so glad you asked. You'll be able to see it, uh, I believe, on our YouTube channel following the event. Um, and also there will be emails sent out to anyone who registered. So you will definitely get a recording of this event one way or another. Stay tuned. Awesome. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing the questions, but I think I can I can probably bring them up here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Jay, this is a great question for you. Hi. How do I? Uh, hi, how are hi. you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> great. Love it. Uh, how do I, the universal royal eye, create subtitles for videos using Descript? So, knowing you decently well, Laura, so you create subtitles for videos <laughs> using Descript. Um, the easiest thing to do 
Command A, if you're on a Mac, that'll select all the text on the screen. And then Command K on the Mac, that opens up the quick switcher, which is this like mystical thing that you can just type in what you want Descript to do and it will obey your command. So type in captions, hit return, captions appear on screen. So now captions will appear on screen for the entire duration of your video. And then you can just double click on the captions and adjust the fonts, the color, the backgrounds, the animations, and things like that. That's really the simplest way of doing it. Um, the other thing I'd add in, if you don't want to have the captions appear for the entire duration, because I had you select all to do it, you can just select the sentence or the paragraph, or sometimes I do this in, in uh, like product demonstration videos, where I just select a sentence that I want emphasis on, select a sentence, Command K, captions, and then captions will appear on screen only when you have that selected. Awesome. Yeah, and we do have a Descript tip, <laughs> little plug on our YouTube channel that uh, walks you through a lot of those steps. We have a whole series on our social video features that includes captions. So check us out on YouTube. Uh, all right, let's see. And our next question. Let's see. I'm going to see if there is one in here that is a little less Descript centric. No. Currently, all the ones I'm seeing are about Descript. So let's see here. Do we want to get into this, Jay? Getting background music to fade in and out on Descript? I think this yeah. is really a, a common scenario for podcasters a lot and video podcasters. This is something people, you know, who are using all the platforms like uh, the podcasting and remote recording platforms is a scenario that probably occurs pretty commonly. So um, do we want to speak to this exactly how you do it in Descript step by step or? How do you I can. Know? Yeah, I can. I can give people the um, give people the 30,000 foot view as as we're getting more questions loaded into the platform. Uh, the 30,000 foot view in the bottom of the screen is the timeline view. And the timeline view is the thing that shows the waveform. So find the music track that you have. And what's cool is if you hover over the left edge or the right edge of it, um, you can actually click and drag. And look at that. This is my graphic design right here. And you can actually turn those into fades. So that's a very quick way to slowly fade music in and out. Um, you can also hover over it. And what I like to do is often right click on the waveform and drop volume key points. So if you're wondering what a, a key point or a keyframe is, it's telling Descript to do something at a certain time. And so you can draw in custom volume automation. And that's a great way to have the music kind of swell in and swell out as you go along. And we do have another Descript tip for that live on our YouTube if you want to see a step by step of that process. So awesome. All right. I believe we have a Riverside question coming up here. So I will bring on Nadav. Hey. Hey. Hi there. So we have a hey question uh, here about what the integration for Descript, uh, edit and Descript will look like in Riverside. Where do you find that button? Yeah, that button is now hidden. But uh, uh, as soon as we officially roll out, uh, you will see that button. Uh, it will be in your dashboard. Uh, it will, pretty, will be pretty visible. And uh, in the dashboard of the separate tracks, you, you can then uh, export those separate tracks to Descript, basically. Awesome. Well, thank you, Nadav, for answering that and for sticking around. Really appreciate it. Um, let's see what the next question we have loaded up is. In the meantime, we can make hard eye contact over our webcams. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, I'll bring up another one here. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here's a good one that is pretty common for all scenarios. Um, although, you know, if you use some of these remote recording platforms, you don't need to worry about this. I'll bring Jay back on. It's you and me now, Nadav. And I removed myself <laughs> instead of Nadav. Hold on, I'm just having some fun. We can pull it yeah, the Benny Hill music is playing. Uh, what's the best way to upload a Zoom recording to Descript? Okay, so um, I will first say we've given you about nine options uh, in the previous 45 minutes to get higher quality than Zoom recordings. So, but we'll just say 
you have a Zoom recording and you need to get that into Descript. No judgment. So you have that. Um, there's two things you can do. If, uh, if you do a cloud recording and it's a publicly available link, those long things that people share in your company and say, here, download this, you can actually, if you copy that and go to Descript, um, you can actually import that directly into Descript. Um, if it's in your clipboard, Descript will actually automatically try to import it for you and uh, just search our help center at help.descript.com for step-by-step -step instructions that I can't give you off the top of my head. Um, the other one to do it, of course, is just download the, the files, bring them into Descript. Uh, if there's multiple files, drag and drop them in all at the same time. We'll automatically create a sequence, which is a multi-track view, and you get your transcript and you are good to go. Awesome. Um, I see some questions that are also uh, coming coming into the uh, coming into our, our live chat as well. So um, let's see. All right. So this is a Riverside and Squadcast question. So let's see here. I'll bring on Zach and Nadav, and then I will remove Jay for one moment. We'll be right back with you, Jay. So here's a question from Donna, um, who currently uses Zoom in the scenario we were just describing. Can you use <laughs> Riverside and Squadcast to record audio and video? If the two of you want to speak to that real briefly, that would be that would be awesome. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, thanks. The The answer is yes. Uh, audio, uh, we started with uh, added video and screen, which is just another input for video. Uh, also photos, you know, there's there's a lot of cool content that you can create along the way. And um, and like uh, Jay and you just said, Laura, it's uh, it's going to be higher quality because it's recorded at the source. Um, we were also the first to add cloud recordings as backups in addition to that. So that, uh, yeah, even in worst case scenarios, you're never going to miss that next episode drop. Great. And Adav, I, I believe it's. Yeah, we record up to 4K, 4K video. So uh, video is uh, definitely an option. You can check, check it out for free. Yes, I believe if you um, look back at some of those CTAs we have, uh, you know, you can go and check out both the Riverside and Squadcast options. So thank you guys so much. Let's see. Next question. What's it going to be? Can't wait to find out. Okay, we have another Squadcast question. So great. Um, I record in Squadcast, which is fantastic most of the time. Occasionally, there are issues with audio drift. Um, how will this work within that Descript integration, Zach? Yeah, so... Um, so browsers can throttle background tabs uh, when it comes to like sample rate in case of audio or frame rate in the case of video. So that's why big pro tip when you're joining a Squadcast session, uh, keep the tab focused, right? We can switch to other tabs, stuff like that. Maybe just split those tabs apart and that lets you have both of them in focus. That's the only reason you're going to see drift with us because of the patent that I, I mentioned before. Uh, so they, yeah, they drop way down and throttle background tabs uh, to try to save us from ourselves. So thank you, browser vendors. I love those browser vendors. Every day of my life, I say, yeah, they're really thank on you, it. browser vendors. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. So uh, let's see what our next question is and who I shall bring in for it. Okay, we got a captivate related question here. So Zach, I'm going to remove you in a moment. I'll bring back in Sarah here. Um, so Johnny is talking about editing their shows with the MP4 to get clips and save time. Um, will Captivate be able to manage this? Does that make sense to you, Sarah? Oh, you're muted. Hold on. Let's see. At least I can't hear you. I muted myself. How funny. <laughs> we all do it. Um, I, I did it on a live stream many times. So. <laughs> I don't a hundred percent get the question if I'm, uh, transparent and honest johnny um, if you're listening and you want to clarify a little further i edit my shows with the mp4 to get clip i think that they're just speaking to editing video in general kind of in in the way that uh you know <laughs> i'm sorry i don't understand it completely myself um uh, but no, I, I believe um... We have a really good support. So if you head on over to Captivate.fm, um, you can uh, talk to the uh, the Captivate team there and you'll get, we've got a dedicated um, 
support team there that are really good at answering questions. Danny, who is in the Crowdcast um, channel, is, is part of that team, heads up that team. So yeah, um, all those questions. Sorry that I was a bit useless on that. The only question, sorry. <laughs> No, 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 no. And, you know, Johnny, again, if you want to elaborate on that more in the ask a question tab on Crowdcast, we can see if we have time to circle back to it. If not, um, perhaps uh, your your friend Danny, was it, will we'll be able to help. Yes, okay. Danny in uh, squad ca- uh, Crowdcast, getting them all confused in my head. <laughs> you know, here we all are. We're just We're just doing our best in this crazy thing we call life. All right. So thank you, Sarah. I will. Okay. We've got Anya here. We have a restream question. Can you record and restream audio, video, more? Would you like to speak to that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, great question. So yes, restream does have a record only option for uh, cloud recording. So it's going to record in cloud. That means it's not going to take any room, any space on your computer. And you can record for up to 15 minutes for free. And then if you need more, uh, then depending on the, on the plan, you'll get up to, I believe, eight hours of recording per one video. So that's a lot of, that's, that's, that's a long conversation. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great tool for, uh, recording and then repurposing. That's what I actually use for my own content whenever I do like real quick tips for like three, five minutes. Um, and it's also great for practicing before you go live. So you can actually record, check everything, make sure your tech works good. You sound great. And then after that, you are hundred percent live ready. Awesome. Thank you so much. We may or may not have been doing that before this uh, live stream ourselves here on Restream. So thank you for answering that question. Um, let's see what we've got next on deck and who I am bringing on to, to answer. Okay. All right, I'll bring on Jay for this one. Thank you so much again. Uh, let's see here. Is there a plan? to help us store all these massive files somewhere safe. Jay. I think we should all have a plan to store all these massive <laughs> files somewhere safe. And this could get into the like larger question of media asset management and what you need for your production flow. Uh, I don't want to answer too generally. Here's the good side is if you are starting off by recording locally and also with your stuff backed up in the cloud. You have copy number one. So if it's on Restream, Riverside, Squadcast, that's copy number one. Once you click edit in Descript, they're copying the files from their cloud over to Descript's cloud. Now the good side is it's lightning fast, but the other thing we haven't really talked about is it's providing some redundancy. So now you have a copy of all of your files and also the high quality files over in the Descript side. So now we have copy number two. Uh, being a paranoid person myself, I would probably also save the local versions and you know just keep a local copy because I'm, I'm that type of person, but you don't really need to, right? You, you, you need to just ensure that you have the original source of truth, which is your cloud recording provider. You have the editing truth, like your editing copy. So that's what's living in Descript. And then you have your final copy. So let's take what you're publishing. If it's audio, you're publishing it to captivate. If it's video, like if we were to be smart and actually pre-record this entire thing, we could edit it in Descript and then publish the video to restream. And we could have just pressed play on this and pretended this whole thing was live. And it really wasn't. It was pre-recorded, except it really is live. So with that, you have copy number three. So copy number three now is what's out in the world. So in Captivate, those are all of your episodes that are then being served up to your listeners. Um, if it's in Restream, that's your video, which is being served up to your audience. Uh, so I'm just kind of walking through. Those are three places that it's all shared and stored without having to take up any storage space on there. Um, you probably do want a local copy yourself. So that is Jay's off the top of his head plan to help us massi- manage these massive files somewhere. Um, right now, Descript has unlimited storage. So you can also just like drag s- stuff in, transcribe it, and have a copy there. Yes. Yeah. And I know a lot of people use the Descript transcripts to sort of uh, keep track of all their content so they can quickly search, search for things. So it's a really good use case for that. Um, we have a river side question here. So I will bring Nadav back on screen. Let's see here. 
Nadav, uh, is it okay if I bring you back on screen? Yeah. Great. Here we are. And I clicked it twice. All right. So this is a, a, a good question. Will video come in to Descript on separate tracks for each guest? I know you can record uh, you know, separate tracks on Riverside. So how will that enter Descript from Riverside? Yeah, so um, great question. Thanks for the question. Basically, uh, you can uh, ex publish those separate tracks directly to Descript. So you can publish them separately as well to Descript and then start editing there uh, from Riverside. Awesome. Yeah, pretty simple, um, but it it should it should work in exactly that way. And we can use the Descript multi-track feature to then make those a lot easier to edit all in sync with each other. So it'll be uh, pretty great, in my opinion, as someone who has to edit these yeah. things. So. In my opinion as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. All right. Hey, Sarah has the uh, the answer to that question from before. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Sarah, where is Sarah? Let's find her. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Okay, sorry. There's a, a scrolling f a thing featured was here. Was I so. hiding? <laughs> it was me. I had a blind spot. So back to Johnny's question. Um, yes. Sorry. Sorry about that. But yes. Um. So Captivate uh, will auto convert MP4 files to the correct one. Um. But uploading can take longer due to that conversion process. So that should answer that question. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for coming back to that. Hopefully that answers that for you, Johnny. Um, okay, so I believe we are about at time. I'm gonna bring Jay back and I'm going to hide that. Jay, are we Lara. about at time? We are at time. We are a punctual bunch here. Everybody, first of all, thank all of you for joining us for this hour live stream where we covered four amazing creator tools that allow you to record your content, bring them into Descript, publish it out into the world, potentially do a round trip integration to do this beautiful loop of just editing, recording, editing, recording, and getting you a bigger fan base and getting your message out to the world. Um, we had a lot of fun putting this together. Yeah. A lot of fun. And it took a lot of work. Uh, I am super thankful. Um, I, I didn't... Yeah, I, I, I'm so thankful to our partners at Squadcast, Riverside, Restream, and Captivate for working with us. Um, for those of you that, that probably can't imagine, uh, wow, it's challenging to do something in V1. The very first time you do something is hard. So you need partners that you can really trust. So I wanna thank them for their trust in this process and for serving you, the creators, and helping us do the best job we can. A few calls to action as we wrap up. We're going to put the other calls to act. Wow, look at that. This is exactly what I was going to say. And we're going to put this all one more time in the chat for um, for Crowdcast so you can click on the links. Uh, please try out the products that are new to you. Please try out Descript. If you are new, please uh, give it a spin. There's a free trial of it available. And we're also happy to introduce you to some Descript 101 sessions, or you can watch on YouTube some of Lara's amazing Descript tips. Yes, and give us feedback. Let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. Really appreciate everyone today. So thanks. Awesome. Um, if anybody uh, has any questions, you can go to help.descript.com, which is our live support and help center. And again, one more time, uh, this is a great opportunity where we have support representatives of our other amazing friends on the chat window. So if you do have any questions, reach out to them. Um, we'll put some chill beats on, leave this stream going for like another few minutes, but then you can just kind of keep the conversation going in Crowdcast. Speaking of chill beats, I'm gonna put them on. Let's drop it.